is a Bramble Jam podcast. Hello, I'm Bran, and I am loving Up TV movies. I'm Dan, and it goes without saying, but I despise Up TV movies. <laughs> I'm Alonzo, and I guess I'm down for Up TV movies. And, and this, this is, is the Deck the Hallmark Podcast. Yeah. Alonzo, I think we should go back to the thing where you just say the first yeah, word. I, and, and I knew it. I, I know. Here's the thing. Y'all kept saying, oh, no, no, it's no, fine, it's fine. We uh, were saying yeah. it's fine. I was saying it's fine as in keep doing it the way you were doing it. <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah. we had something lost in translation there. I was shocked yeah, I when you went for it there. And I, maybe I, like, I uh, you're, you're still saying Dyke Hallmark podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's still happening. <laughs> and you're not. You I thought you guys were convincing me. Oh, no, it's fine. And I, I'm thinking, no. Oh, the one thing if I know about Zoom is you yeah. cannot both talk at the no, same time. No, I was saying well, the way you do, like it's great the way you do it. It's perfect because then we come right in. It's great. So That's, I'll go back to it. Now you know. If you were th- wondering why <laughs> Alonzo didn't do that, it's not because we have some weird club where you have to be like an original Idiot member Bill. to say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got like the five timers jacket like the SNL does. We got to send him out. Right. Um, no, it's just because we were trying to be good uh, stewards of our technology. Just it's kind of like when Brand turned on Panda's mic for some reason, and I decided to slide it over, and it was like, Whoosh. so we got to hear that in the opening as well. I always leave Panda's mic on just in case he shows up. Or you, you, never you, know. Yeah. you never know. You, you never have know. to be ready at a moment's notice. Yeah, um, Alonzo, how are you? Another week? Another week. Another Monday. March. Uh, I, March I, I, is I here. To dress for y'all. Yeah, <laughs> look at this guy. Well, last week you were in the deck, the Hallmark shirt. So yeah. that was that was yes. uh, apropos. Did, uh, yes. Are the Christmas movies in March doing your soul some good, or are you, like, kind of over it? This this is actually just right, because I used to, like, really consistently, like, kind of turn to this stuff throughout the year for for sort of, you know, some a moment of calm and peace. Uh, and then uh, I just have to say, after collaborating with you guys on the book and having to watch all those movies for work, that is over. Yeah. That is, that's dead. Like, I'll watch all the new ones, but like uh, a Hallmark gets a break. But a, a one weekly dose of a non-Hallmark movie, just with the Doctor Order. Yeah, I these are my favorites to do because of all the Hallmark we've watched. But I do want to ask you one other question about our book since we're on a podcast right now. Now, um, book comes out September 28th. I'll be home for Christmas movies. Pre-order your copy now everywhere. Uh, if, Lord willing, we get a second and third edition of this wow. book. Wow. <laughs> Is that on um, the table? Uh, second and third edition. It's in the contract. Yeah, they have I, the rights I know. To it. I know. I know. Um, <laughs> we have covered a lot more content, Alonzo. How oh, I- <laughs> overwhelmed does that make you feel uh, just thinking about that? <laughs> Uh, as the saying goes, we'll burn that bridge when we get to That's it. That's right. Uh, <laughs> but what if, uh, look, these, these are the, we should have such problems. Yes. What if I told you we're also um, considering doing all the lifetimes this holiday season? <laughs> Good luck with that. Uh, Alonzo <laughs> laughed like it was a joke, and it's a possibility. Uh, a joke, it's an no. actual oh, possibility, really? Alonzo. Wow, well, True story. Wishing you all the best. <laughs> Oh. You no, know, you're doing those with us. Yeah, what do you mean? Wishing us all the best. <laughs> long time. I need to renegotiate my contract. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, man, I am excited about our book. It, you know, I've been uh, perusing it uh, each night. I have um, this uh, the uh, first edition, uh, like print of it. That's not the way I should. It's have said not it. even close. It's to on accurate. my no. phone. It's the first like dra- These are the pages. Proofs. Yeah, your proofs. Proofs is what I was going for, and so I end each day. You have a first edition. I'll be home for Christmas movies. <laughs> wow, <laughs> I do. You can tell because it has a little no uh, card. note card yeah, around yeah, yeah, yeah. the, the yeah, around yeah. the. Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, I, and I'm having fun, guys. I'm having fun reading reading my own words that I forgot <laughs> that I said. It's fun. It's fun to see <laughs> it. So. Uh, you're right. so humble that, too, Brian. That's what? the thing about podcasting. People will like quote stuff to you and you're like, did I say that? I have no idea. <laughs> no, oh. I, I'm having a fun time reading all of our I'm excited about stuff. being like 75 or 80 years old and listening to all the stuff I said that I know I will have forgotten by then. Like I'm, I'm already excited about it. Let's just skip to that. My favorite's uh, Char- Charles Gould's words. Charles Gould. Yeah, he was, he was choice, man. Uh, we're talking <laughs> the, about... The fact that we've talked about Charles Gould, the book... And other things means we're really excited about the Christmas switch. 
<laughs> I told a, a Christmas switch. A, a, a Christmas. It's switch. a Christmas switch. <laughs> is it? Is it? Is it the? No, it's, no. It's it just is, one of many. <laughs> it is one of many. Exactly. Oh, one of boy. many Christmas switches. Um, well, I guess we'll do it, huh? Um, a Christmas switch originally aired on Up TV on November 4th, 2018, and it went a little something like this. The movie kicks off with Audrey singing just the oddest version of Deck the Halls I've ever heard. But people seem to like it, except they're not real people. It's just a dream. She works at a diner. Now, I will say, this diner is pretty ballin' because they have, you know, diner stuff, but also a stage where I guess it's a requirement if you work there to be able to either A, sing, or B, think you sing, and that is a dream come true. Um, she goes on stage at the diner. She crushes it, and um, there's this woman there named Julia who is a jerk and seems very, uh, uh, just very intense she's there to check out an, another singer who's bat but luckily for her audrey's not and so wasn't all lost anyways she's a record ex- a record label executive You're never gonna get through it at this pace i oh, give me time She's a record label executive. Uh, you, wait until you see what I do here. <laughs> She's a record label executive. She's very serious. She has a daughter, 16, doesn't really care about her husband, whatever. Work, 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 work. Um, so both Audrey and Julia end up at the mall at the same time. They're doing some shopping. They're both unhappy about their lives um, for different reasons, and they both spot a shiny ornament. They both touch it. They both fall down. They both have a bright light. They both fall on beanbag chairs. <laughs> they both have bright lights, and then it, then it just all goes white. They wake up in each other's bodies. It's a Freaky Friday situation. So they meet up. They talk about their lives. They get the notes. Basically, here's what you need to know about me. Here's what you need to know about my job, all that good stuff. They proceed to do each other's jobs, figure things out together, and then they end up spending time with moms, and they got to be wives, and they find things out about themselves that that you know they uh, you know Julia um, in Audrey's body realizes that you know like I I, I want to be a present mom, and I want to you know do all these things, and uh, uh, Audrey in Julia's body realizes you know what I I I can I can go get it, and I have some go go get you know it's good to do do things that you care about stuff like that anyways they're you know they're ready to go back to their lives and so they meet up and they say maybe if we just wish it real good uh that doesn't work out so they go back to the mall on christmas eve they find the ornament again the lights all turn off and then there's like a stranger thing situation where the christmas lights turn on one at a time they spell out run it's a whole thing joyce buyer's like wow <laughs> they, they hear the ornament they pull it and uh, same thing happens. They wake up. It's Christmas morning. They're in, they're in the correct clothes, in the correct beds. We're the correct husbands. We're the correct kids. And uh, they're all very happy about that. Fast forward one year. Audrey, apparently, uh, she got signed by the label. She has the most successful Christmas album of all time for the label. And they're both very happy with their lives. And that, my friends, was a Christmas, Christmas switch. switch. You know, uh, there's some gold in there. Nicely done. <laughs> um, but you. you have so many like uh, words that you misspeak that sometimes the little <laughs> the little ones go unnoticed. But you combine flash and fast forward for fast forward, um, and that's that one's going to stick with me for a while. Uh, old fast forward over there. <laughs> hey, listen, you can't rush perfection. You tried though. I do. And it went, it, it came out, fa- it came out fast forward. That, uh, you think that's a mistake. It is a artistic move on my part that you, you couldn't possibly get. You're just streets ahead. Brandon. I'm streets ahead. That's right. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back. We're going to break this, uh, gem of a movie down, but first a break here on deck the homework. Hi, 
everybody. Welcome back. Chances are you're uh, listening to this or you're watching it. <laughs> and however that, those you- are the two possibilities. <laughs> There's no chance there. Those are the only two ways that you would be consuming this podcast. I think you're forgetting the cha- about the live studio audience up <laughs> hey, there. Hey, guys, how are guys, you? Hey. They're uh, behind the glass, yeah. everyone. Um, Relax. It's a 100% chance. Yeah, they all got masks We've actually seen them on the way in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so thank you. Um, and YouTube, a lot of people went there. And so thank you so much for subscribing and all that good stuff. It meant so much. Um, and I uh, hope you're enjoying seeing us, whether yeah. you're in the studio or if you're watching. Yeah. Um, <laughs> get that guy. Hey. <laughs> We have four segments to break this movie down, and we always start with a hot take. Hot take is where we share exactly how we felt about A Christmas Switch, the Up TV movie from 2018. And I'm going to start with my good friend Alonzo. Alonzo, have you seen this movie before? I have. <laughs> so you, you got to watch A Christmas Switch a second time? Uh huh. You, yeah. you, you, you are in high cotton, buddy. Don't ever think that I don't give and give and give for you. <laughs> That's right. Um. Yeah. No. What happened was when you sent that, that text asking for 2014 or 2018, were you like crossing your fingers? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. It was. It was somebody in the Facebook group yeah, pointed yeah. that out because I had no idea. But I. But part of me was like, oh, for, for this one, okay. And it, it, it seemed really early in the in the loop for us to be digging this deep. <laughs> There's a story behind it. Don't worry. That's not. Oh, I'm sure. That's yeah. neither here nor there. Um. Yeah. No. What happened was that uh the the people at Up were uh, when I started doing the. Uh, Christmas movie minute on the Who Shot You podcast, where I would recap all the Christmas movies I had seen that week. Uh, they started sending me advanced links to their stuff, so I was like, "Okay, sure." So at my leisure, I could like you know watch this thing on my laptop, and so I was actually keeping up with the up films for a while, and this was one of them. Um, this falls into the category of like, there's an idea here. And there is also not a budget here. <laughs> and so I think that kind of undercuts the film in a lot of ways. Um, you know, if you're going to give me a waitress tries on rich lady clothes montage, then those rich lady clothes had better be rich lady clothes and not stuff that looked like a Muppet would wear them. Mm-hmm. Um you know, it, uh, the actresses are good. They're giving it their best shot. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I, I see the potential for this one, but I think in execution, it's just kind of, it's kind of okay. Mm. Thank you for the yeah. fashion minute with Alonzo. Oh, I love that. that was great. In 2018, it turns out, Up TV was really yeah. trying to reach out to every medium to get their uh, yeah. people to watch the no, movies because they reached out to us in 2018 yeah. as well. There you go. Yeah. I'm, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm being fast forward. Yeah, yeah. you are. Fast forward. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and, and, I, and I will say this. You know, it is nice to have a network that has their movies done, like, you know, years and <laughs> <laughs> weeks in advance. It's yeah. wild. <laughs> Don't get that with Hallmark. Hallmark's like, you'll, you'll get it when you get it, and you're not yeah. going to get it. You're not going to get it. Spoken with a director and editor that say that they will be editing the day the movie the is going to be shown on oh, Hallmark. Oh, man. Wow. True story. So, Although Up did promise they were going to do their own app last year, and then it never happened. Mm, man. That pe- people want, are wanting to check off the Up TV movies? Uh, yeah, the, the five or whatever that they aired last year. Yeah, they didn't. They, they went I think that's, that's just that's called a, a notepad, that's right? Just a, that's, just a, <laughs> that's just a PDF is all like, that is. You the Hallmark, the Hallmark app is, you know, very helpful. You got 40. Sure. You got to remember when they are. Co- like, it's five, guys. Yeah, like, it's, yeah. They're going to move around. Yeah, one every two weeks. Can I handle it? <laughs> <laughs> We love you up. Um, okay, let's talk, guys. I um, I'm a sucker for these type of movies. Yes, you are. I I don't know what it is about me. I I I enjoy these very bad movies. They're wacky. They're they're crazy. They're all over the place. They make not a lick of sense, and I could not be more in. I don't, you know, say what, you know, say what you will about brand. I will. <laughs> um, but like, I, you know, I miss, I, I miss these type of movies and I'm glad that up TV is still doing it. Um, <laughs> like it's just, it's just wacky. It's whimsical. It's magical. Um, it is unbelievably bad. And I could not have loved it more. Uh, <laughs> just, just a treat, just a treat. And I'm so happy that uh, we got to partake in it. I'm so happy that I got to watch it with my good friend Dan. Dan, yeah. what did you think about this? You movie? should have seen Brand during this movie. He couldn't contain himself. 
he was just laughing and leaning forward. And I've told you that you like the Hallmark movies and mysteries. Yeah. And then you wish that the Hallmark movies on the Hallmark channel were a little zanier. And that's why you like this movie. That's fair. Also, I think you also have a head injury. That's the only <laughs> other thing that, that makes sense to well, me. Well, while we're joking about yeah, head injury. I'm going to get there right now. Uh, imagine, <laughs> imagine, if you will... Uh, a bad movie <laughs> just like a standard pot boiler boiler plate not a pot boiler that's not a thing a boiler plate it's fast forward man. bad movie just bad 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 and then sprinkle in just cavalier head injury humor just right on top just like this is going to be funny multiple times we're going to joke about traumatic brain injuries over and over again, and then sprinkle in four white people that are supposed to be distinct enough that you know them all, but look exactly alike. <laughs> like, exactly alike. Like, it's the same page of the same catalog, white. Sprinkle that in, and, and you have the absolute cow dung of a movie that is up TV's A Christmas Switch. This is all timer bad. Um, <laughs> It gives body switch movies a bad name, and that is saying something in and of itself. Holy cow. Switch for Christmas just won an award. Switch for Christmas <laughs> is a better movie than this movie. Uh, it is, and it's longer. It's 87 minutes instead of 83, and those four minutes are the Boston Marathon. Like, they are just a full... <laughs> It is, it is real bad, guys. You don't want to check it out. It's free on Prime. You still feel like you lost some money on the deal. It's not good. You don't want any part of it. It's a, a hard no dumpster fire up TV. You, you considered for, canceling your Prime membership. Th yeah, that's right. <laughs> How dare you put this on the screen? Uh, thanks for nothing up TV. Uh, it's a no-go for me. Um, As head injury movies go, it's no a very merry mix up. I'll tell you that. I'll say that much. That's true. It isn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what's the best body switch movie of all time, Alonzo? I'm gonna go. You know, I, I I'm a purist. I'm gonna go Barbara Harris, Jodie Foster, Freaky Friday. Uh, okay, yeah. all right. What is Mulholland Drive a body switch movie? <laughs> uh, that's not a body switch as much of a. Yeah, I mean it is, but it yeah. isn't. So, yeah. uh, with an asterisk. That's maybe. right. What about uh, Big? Is Big a body switch movie, or he just gets big? Right. Mm, he doesn't train. Yeah. He just his own body transforms and then transforms yeah. back. You know, we're we're getting into the weeds of like you know yeah. vice versa and like father like son. That's right. And yeah. that awful one with Ryan Reynolds and Jason Bateman and you know. Yeah, and then it's, you, it's, oh, it's a whole oh, other the category. change up, the change up. That's a the body switch up. movie. That's a body switch. Yes. Movie. The change up is a body switch movie. Not a good one, but it it is one. <laughs> For sure. Man, this was fun. Yes. Wasn't it? Uh let's talk about all the feels where we share how we uh how we felt. You know, any feels, Christmas feels, uh sad sad feels maybe for Dan, I don't know. Oh, uh any feels to be had. Alonzo. Uh I did I did laugh a couple of times. There were some bits that I thought were funny when when type A business lady is having to drive waitress's car for the first time and she's yanking on the seatbelt and can't get it to go and she finds us to go and then does the slow yeah. pull to make it go. Yeah. Like that made me laugh. It just that was that was a nice little physical bit. Uh beyond that, mm, no, the Christmas in this movie is really, really low budget. It's it's very ninety nine cent store, as Jonathan Shapiro would say. And uh, I didn't I didn't buy any of the big emotional moments. Although I did like the fact that waitress mom has to learn a stop volunteering for everything. That's why you don't have any time to yourself and B maybe your daughter does need structure and, uh, Oh my gosh. That's a wait. What of the century for this? movie? <laughs> She's four. She doesn't the, need yeah, structure. The thing that I learned in this movie is five-year-olds don't need structure. I've been yeah. doing it all wrong, man. It's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, you have. Let's go home and give them carte blanche. See what happens. <laughs> Car cards, not welcome there. Just shot, uh, shot some maple syrup. Up, yeah. guys come on over i'm, I'm pouring <laughs> who's buying <laughs> um i will say this that little girl is yeah, adorable she's adorable yeah. adorable 
And I got feels when they finally switch back into their bodies and she sees her daughter for the first time. She walks in on Christmas morning and she's like very happy to see her. I was like, oh, that's a sweet. Like, oh, that was very nice. So that gave me a, like legitimate feels. I got legit feels in this movie seeing her see her daughter uh, on Christmas morning and she's so excited to be back in her body. You know, uh, not something that's ever going to happen to me. Like, I'm not going to switch bodies no, with someone. Not that you know of. I'd be down. You know. I'd, I'd be down. You uh, want to do that? <laughs> you know, for a day. <laughs> For a day. For a day. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Now, now yeah, we're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If given the opportunity, <laughs> yeah. Alonzo, to switch bodies with someone, would you do it for a day? For one freaky Friday? Yeah. Um, mm, only if there was a guarantee out. You know, that yes. like uh, we, we, not that we have to spend the entire day trying to figure out how to undo the curse or whatever. If I knew if there was a hard out, uh, maybe. Yeah. But think about what they could do to you. Like what, <laughs> like what the, the chances they would take in your skin versus theirs. No one is going skydiving in this body. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not concerned about not concerned. that. What like what am I am I switching with the the, the Long Island serial killer? Like what like I don't who know. Am I you, what if it's random? You don't know. It's like the box. You gotta push that button. Oh, if it's <laughs> random. Because I'm thinking like I'd switch with you. Yeah, whatever. I know enough about you. Yeah. Oh, That's actually, easy. Freaky from this year is a body switch movie about a serial killer. There I love go. that movie. Yeah, that was a great. I had a blast. Alonzo liked it. Okay. Yeah, I've she not seen right. it. It was a little scary for you, Alonzo. A little scary. <laughs> That's what it it's was. It's no happy death day. That's oh, the death day. Great. Amen. One hundred percent. Um, I would. I I think I would press the button. You would press the. Button. I would press the random button. Worst case, then they it's could a go in your body and murder somebody, or or take a bunch of drugs, or do something else terrible. Ruin rob, your credit. Rob rob a bank, bury the money somewhere, and then go get it when they're back in their body. There's a lot of things they could do. There's also a lot of good things. They could help uh, cure cancer. So you switch <laughs> in, one like, day. Yes, in one day. It is not always worst case scenario. Not everyone's taking the drugs, Dan. You don't switch <laughs> bodies with somebody to cure cancer. No one does you don't that. you don't I switch could, bodies to rob a bank. No, you could. I could only I could only cure cancer if I'm in brand's body. <laughs> That's right. That's right. 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 That's the yes. only way I can do it. Fair, yes. <laughs> for one day, for 24 hours, it's much more likely you're going to try to do something illegal and get money than it is try to cure cancer. Yeah, maybe if you're bad like you, no, you bad but boy. If to cure cancer, I can do it in my own body. I don't need to be in your no, body. No, you can't do it in your own body. body. You don't have the <laughs> fingers. I don't have the fingers? What are you talking about? You know, the medical fingers. You got them? I got the medical fingers. You got those medical fingers. <laughs> and I'm choosing to use them for podcast buttons. <laughs> I would do it is what I'm trying to say. Dan? The, the daughter, there are two daughters in this movie. One of them is adorable and wonderful. Um, <laughs> um, she, the, the little kid is really, really adorable. Every line she says, she's really cute. And I, I thought she was great in the movie. Um, that's my feels. That's all I got. Oh, that was good. Yeah. That was really good. Uh, let's take a quick break. We'll come back. We'll get to the wait what's and see if we can fit them all in in time and uh, have a good time doing that. But first, here's a quick break here on Deck the Hallmark. Welcome back, everybody. Talking a Christmas switch, 2018 Up TV. You know the one. Uh, it's time for the Wait What. It's where we uh, talk about one in this movie. Let's go Wait What. Alonzo. Medical fingers. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, well, I think we all Wait What must begin with the Christmas Carol Diner. Like, oh, yeah. what yeah. is even going on there? It's, it, it is a singing waiter diner that's all done up for Christmas where people get up and sing Christmas carols. Somehow a record executive has been convinced. She is the president of the label, by the yes, way. She's not right. like some A&R person. The president of the label has been convinced to go to the Christmas Carol Diner to watch a guy sing, and he's terrible. Yes. And it's like, how did you, A, get the singing waiter job in the first place, and B, who told the president of a label that you were somebody that needed to be checked out? So many questions. Also, <laughs> they serve Italian food. <laughs> it's, yes. an, it's an Italian Christmas singing karaoke <laughs> re restaurant. The best I understand. <laughs> Quit selling, Dan. Quit selling. I'm there. 
It's absurd. On the tally, everybody. <laughs> um, the um, the ornament that they're both reaching for that is what makes the wish happen is the ugliest ornament <laughs> I think I've ever seen in my life. And the idea that th- not one but two people are reaching for it because they want it is that 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 that's harder to buy than the the body switch. Um, <clears throat> You know, I, I I was for a while I was kind of annoyed. This is gonna be another movie where working mom gets punished, and you know, like other mom has all the answers. But they both learn things, so I'll give them that one. Um, we let, let, let's park on the the epilogue where we jump ahead a year. Good first gracious. of all, first of all, the kid who I'm less into than y'all uh, hasn't aged in a year, and it's oh, not like no. that's a time of life where one year makes a big difference in, in what somebody looks like. Um, Label president tells her, you are our label's number one Christmas album. Okay, so that means her debut album is a Christmas record, yeah. which never happens. How many Christmas albums has this label put out? Does Gavin Vaughn have a Christmas album? Like, what does this even mean? Um, just, yeah, generally speaking, that that all was made zero sense. Oh, for sure. No, no doubt about it. <laughs> Also, just the ending. Like, what were they? Were they attempting to set up a sequel? If they do, it's one of the wrongest sequels of all time. Oh, totally. Yeah. Like, I want a five year old in a 16 year old's body. I yeah. have no a thank 16 you. year old talking like a four and a half, five year old. That is not comedy gold. That is just yeah. a, a recipe for disaster. How about we don't? Yeah. I mean, I'd watch it. I don't know. <laughs> if it were set at Christmas, sure. Of course. Uh, any more? Are you good? No, I'm good. I'm good. Um, my guy who is running this Christmas diner, uh, just he's a what the hallmark in it of oh, himself. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Stanley? But yeah, so Stanley. But he does say this line. This is the only place where we serve up delicious food and Christmas music. There's no other nowhere, restaurant nowhere. that no. is like can't do it. Playing Christmas music at the very least, like mm-hmm. this is the only place you can get both food and Christmas music. That's <laughs> it. Uh, and speaking of the Christmas music in this movie, there is not one single normal version of a Christmas song nope. in this movie. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why they went with these weird, weird versions of these songs, but they did. And I think I'm here for it. Um, the the the, the mole, the store. Or whatever it is has Santa just sitting at the, in the entrance as you walk in, like you're walking it's in not the shop. Back up at all? You no, know, you're walking <laughs> in and you're just like, I guess I'll take a little seat. See, I like how does where? <laughs> why? Why in the entrance? Um, she says, uh, "Who uh, Audrey? She's the mom, right? Uh, I mean, the mom of the little girl. Yeah, she says my daughter's having a tough time reading lately." <laughs> Things were going well. It was going train. real well, and then and then it breaks. It just all came to a halt. Like mm. what? What do you mean lately? Maybe what? there's another head injury that they didn't want yeah. to tell yeah. us about. Classic. Dan, you went to the bathroom during this, so I want to tell you about a charades game that you missed. No. <laughs> <laughs> How did you not tell me? I'm about sorry. This? There's a charades game going oh. on here, and um, Audrey in uh, other Julie's body is doing something with pillows. And yeah. her husband, these are his guesses, Statue of Liberty, a tiger. And then he says this line, are you sure this is a Christmas movie? What? Not one what? of his guests was a Christmas movie. <laughs> Statue of Liberty, a tiger. Are you sure these are colors? <laughs> <laughs> <It's> it. <laughs> I, I could believe it. Um, at one point, d- cell phones that are very far apart are creating feedback. Don't let me get into those weeds. Um, They're creating microphone yeah, feedback. Yeah, microphone feedback. Through an ear it's, You know, if you put two phones on speaker and put them together, yeah. yes, that would happen. One but person is fi- a five-minute walk away. And the other person is wearing a headset. <laughs> And there's feedback that can't, she can't handle it. She's got to chuck that. <laughs> Backstage, the, you know, there's like, you know, a spread of food and just letters that spell out the word showtime. showtime. And I just thought it was so funny. <laughs> yeah. It's showtime. We got to put something here to let you know that this happens after the concert. Um, what, what do you think we should what's do? What's that? She's, what? she's performing at the Apollo. That's what they <laughs> tell you. <laughs> and uh, Alonzo, what's that guy's name, the big singer in this movie? Gavin Vaughn. Gavin. Gavin Vaughn. 
Either shave or don't. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> Good. I have never yeah. seen a beard that spotty once you're, I don't know, older than 15. No. Like, it was insanely yeah. spotty. Full Patch Adams there. He and, was- <laughs> and he's the most popular singer artist that's right. around right now. Unbelievable. Uh, I think that's good. Yeah, we can stick with Gavin, and I can work my way back. Uh, mm-hmm. Gavin is negotiating his own seven-figure contract. <laughs> Thank you. He's negotiating his own in the middle of the night. This guy <laughs> shows up. And negotiates a giant singing deal and then says, send the forms to my agent so he can sign them. What <laughs> have we reversed? Is is it also a <laughs> occupation switch movie? Like the, the, in real life, the singer would not be there. The agent would be there and then say, send these to him to sign. This guy showing up with his posse in the middle of the night to negotiate his own deal. Why is his agent taking fifteen percent? Like, why is he doing it? Like, the, it doesn't. The agent did nothing. Did a abs- posse of two, by the way. Yeah, yeah. He was rolling too deep, too deep <laughs> into that recording studio. You've got to be kidding me, Gavin. Oh. Seriously, um, I hate to be this guy, but they make Audrey out to be this amazing singer. And the mm. thing about it is, is she's not, <laughs> she, she just isn't a very good, I'm not a good singer. She is not a record talent singer. There's just, there's just no way. I just don't understand. I, I will just say she's going for things she has no business going for. Yeah. Yeah. That joy to the world. Like <laughs> she's going for it and perhaps should not. Christina Aguilera watches that joy to the world. And she's like, wow, that's a lot of vibrato. <laughs> like wh- Why? Look, if she were a painter or a photographer, you would totally buy it in a Hallmark. That's movie, right, true. Right? Yeah, no, I never, make, I never make fun of the photographers in the Hallmark movies, ever. Um, when she sings the first time, that restaurant is packed and everyone is deathly quiet, and only two people have food in front of them. And I'm a little concerned she's not doing her actual job of waiting tables. That's a problem. Um, you have a flat. Uh, can I get that? That's it. Can I? It's, yeah. I'm sorry, can I? Oh, oh, she's singing. Hey, oh, can, okay. we, can we go ahead and get the kitchen started on a joy to the world real quick? And then <laughs> and then I'd like to put in my full order after imagine, that. Imagine having somewhere to go fast and you're just waiting on the check and you see your waitress go up. And you're like, and start, oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, yeah, like ugh. that sounds. Okay, I'm going to die to dash. <laughs> yeah, this yes. play, place sounds great in the evening. If you're going somewhere for a quick lunch, you're like, I'm sorry. I missed the 130 <laughs> meeting. Jenkins, look, I thought we had the whole thing planned out, but all of a sudden I put the bread in and then joy of the world happened and we didn't have a chance. <laughs> we didn't have a chance. They did the lunchtime cantata. I don't know. What you there's, know what there's nothing we can do. Um, if you Ooh. have a flat screen TV and I'm not, I hate being this guy. I hate being the, you can afford it guy, but you are really sweating bullets over a $9 bear. You have 10 things in your apartment. If a Christmas, if a kid's Christmas is that important to you, there were 10 things in that apartment. She could have easily sold to make a Christmas for her kid. Could have done. It. Oh, it's, it's worse because that's not an apartment. That's a house. Oh, no, it's a house. That's a house. <laughs> so for he's off doing non-property stuff and she's waiting tables and has dreams of becoming a singer, they're in a house. <laughs> yeah. Um, at one With point. With a weirdly shaped TV. It um, was. Yeah, it was a weird. It, was, it wasn't 16.9. It was probably like 27, I think. Like It was like very. It was a um, unique TV. It was. Yeah, it really was. Uh, the Both husbands are incredibly cool about this. Like they Mm. don't ask any questions. Like if your wife wakes up in bed next to you and is trying to fight you and is yelling and screaming, you're going to call a a doctor. Like you're going to call someone in the medical profession and say, Hey, we need to run some tests. Stat is what we need to do. Both of these guys are like, all right, so you're being weird. I got to go do a thing. We'll see you later. I'm sorry. Head injury, I guess. I, <laughs> I like to imagine those guys when they meet up later and they're getting wine and they're, you know, talking about bro stuff. They're yeah. just like, man, the craziest thing happened the other yeah. day. Does this ever happen to you? you? Does this ever happen to you? Wife woke up, just tried to hit me with a spatula. It's unreal. <laughs> that happened to me. You too? Yeah, and then at one point, Stanley, who is doing his best Danny Glover, says head injuries what are you gonna do like I, you can't say that line 
Like that is just Listen, like I don't want to live in a world where you can't say that line. That's gold. Yeah, that's Stanley for you. <laughs> and uh, not only is he not Danny Glover, he's not even Pop from Riverdale, who's in uh, all the Hallmark. That's true. Right. He's he not. wishes he was. That's Pop right. From Riverdale. Um, <laughs> and we we did brush on it briefly, but she, uh, this line is said in this movie: "She's four. She's not supposed to have structure." Guys, <laughs> I am not going to write a parenting book anytime this century, but I can tell you that four-year-olds <laughs> desperately need structure. Like, you can't just l- roll the ball out there and let them do whatever they want. They need to have... And I will say this. That girl is surprisingly well-behaved for having no structure. Zero structure. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, like... She's thriving. You know, the thing about babies is you can put them down to sleep whenever. Yeah. They don't need to go down to sleep a certain time. Just whatever. They can eat whatever. It's just absurd that that line exists in this You mean movie. to tell me the reason she stopped reading was the lack of structure? Yeah. She's like, ah, I just can't do it anymore. Uh, these words. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, there was structure. <laughs> what are you? Are you like a vaudeville kind yes. of thing? Yeah. Nice. Mm. Give me a get? C. Give me a bouncy C. That's right. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I do have a problem with them having to have hard copy contracts, but that's fine. Oh, We're good. stop yeah, yeah, it. Yeah. Good. It's what the hallmark. It's time for the part of the show. We wonder what could have been maybe happened. Give some clarity to the questions that we still have. Alonzo. Oh, well, I, I think clearly uh, uh, the, the big uh, unclosed loop here is Gavin Vaughn. Like, what happens yeah. when he realizes that by acting as his own uh, agent, he got screwed out of $4 million by this <laughs> record label? <laughs> like, that, at some point, he's going to wake up and go, hey. Wait a minute. I, I got I got played by the lady telling me she believes in me. <laughs> uh, we've all been there. We've all been uh, that's just not going to end well, I don't think. Yeah, um, mine and Alonzo, you did touch on it, but at the beginning of this movie, Ju- Julia wa- or Julie, whatever, walks in with a briefcase, <laughs> pulls out that briefcase, in it a folder. Inside that folder is a picture of a guy, his name Chad or whatever, <laughs> and it just says on a little sticky note, "I think you're really going to like him." Yep. Who pulled no. this prank? <laughs> Who did this to her? If it's her the assistant, guy, maybe if he's if fired. If it's her assistant, then he deserves every yeah. bit of verbal abuse yes. coming his way because that is awful. <laughs> if it's Mister, let's get the new guys in three uh, three a uh, quarter. Yeah. No. If that's your idea, like blah, 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 blah. how? Because even yeah. the people in the in the restaurant are covering their ears. They're oh, making yeah. faces. The bartender like, looks like he's been injured personally. Either this is a prank or. I, I can't imagine yeah. another sc- scenario. Yeah. You're, yeah. I think you're throwing, really going to like them. Start throwing shoes at that assistant and never stop. That's right. My my only one was we talked about it. Like, how in the world is this sequel? Like, how? who thought it was a good oh. idea to end the movie with that possibility? I just wild. I can't believe that and made it into the script and stayed there. Yeah. Um, just can't. That's all I got. Uh, we did, everybody. We did. Congratulations. Uh, very excited. Tomorrow we will be back. Uh, uh, Panda will be here, and we will be um, uh, s- spotlighting, previewing the Spring Fling movies. Mm, no new movie this past weekend. Episode. It's a preview Thank episode. Um, so you're not going to want to miss that. going to be a lot of fun uh, for me and, and, and Panda, and Dan will uh, you know deal with it. Uh, but I love a good preview show. I know you do. Uh, Alonzo, is there, uh, you won't be there tomorrow. Is there a Spring Fling movie that you've got your eyes on? Uh, you know, I have not looked at the lineup yet, but I will absolutely get back to you with the for that. Uh, I do want to say real quick, uh, Dan and I have a new film and movie out this week. And if you usually don't listen because you think all we talk about are like super obscure four hour long French movies. I would never say that. No, you would but- never. No, never. This week, we have two super fun oh, screwball yeah. comedies, Bringing Up Baby and What's Up, Doc. It's a hoot, and you'll enjoy the movies, too. Absolutely. Even though one is in black and white. Brent. One of them is in black and white, but it's really funny, and you would enjoy it, I promise. I love that your your cell is bringing up baby and what's up. Like though that's gonna get me in, dude. But you would like the. For I'm sure I would. I'm yeah, sure yeah. I would like the movie. Yeah. Like you know, call me when it's, it's Jaws or yeah, something. Yeah, Jaws. <laughs> Jaws could be on there for sure. I'm Both there. Count. Oh yeah, um, we'll get there. All right, guys. We'll be back tomorrow. Until then, may we be the first to wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Deck the Hallmark is a Bramble Jam podcast recorded live, and yeah, that Greenville, South Carolina is produced by Brandon Gray, set decor by Plum Haywood Mall. For more information on all Bramble Jam podcasts, you can go to BrambleJamPodcast.com. For more information on how to listen to Deck the Hallmark ad-free, you can go to BrambleJamPlus.com.